Hi everyone and welcome to my body slide series. We've covered a lot of background information in the previous videos and now it's time to really dig into the program. The goal of this video is to show those who are completely new to body slide how to get started by first making themselves a new body. If you are already familiar with body slide, then you probably won't find much here to interest you. Please have a look at the playlist linked in the description to see if there are any other topics that catch your eye. Before we get started, please make sure that you have installed body slide as per my installation video linked here and in the description. And make sure you have already tested to make sure it opens and is set up properly. If not, then please pause and go watch that video first. Remember that the purpose of body slide is to create new NIFs for the unclothed body and for any body slide compatible outfits that you have in whatever shape you want. This has to be done separately for the body and for each and every outfit that you want reshaped. A common misconception is that you just have to build one thing, such as the body, and then everything will match the new shape. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. So in this video, we are going to first make a body in the shape we want. In the next episode, we will make an outfit to match the new body shape. And after that, we will batch build a collection of outfits to match the new body shape. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a body. I'm going to make a CBBE body for this example, but you can try one of the other body slide compatible body mods if you prefer. With body slide open, click the little down arrow by the magnifying glass in the filter groups box and select choose groups. Tick the box for CBBE bodies or whatever other body mod you have and hit OK. This will filter out anything except the unclothed body options here in the top drop down list. Click on the little down arrow over here to expand the outfit slash body drop down and choose the type of unclothed body you want to make. The CBBE body, which is nude, CBBE never nude, which uses the Skyrim vanilla underwear, or CBBE underwear, which gives you the pretty CBBE undies. Note that each one also has a physics version, which applies some primitive jiggle, but these require you to have the XPM SSE skeleton and either CBPC or SMP physics mods. I would suggest skipping that for now unless you already know what you're doing with physics. We'll be covering that later in the series. Also note that there is an option called CBBE Body Special. This one has more detailed genitalia if you care about that. You can read more about it on the main CBBE mod page. I'm going to select the underwear body to keep this safe for work. Feel free to build whichever version you want. But remember that you should not build a bouncing, jiggling, physics-enabled body unless you already have the required physics mods installed. Once you've selected the version of the body you want, go ahead and tick the little box down here so the text turns blue. This will set the body you've chosen as the default selection in the batch build window and save you a step later. Now in the preset drop-down list, we have to pick the shape we want the body to have. For this simple example, I suggest starting with one of the available shapes. We will cover how to get additional presets or make your own custom preset later. And you can always rebuild again using a new shape. Click the preview window if you haven't already so you can see what the different shapes look like. Try them out until you find one you like. Don't forget to check the size 0 shape and the size 1 shape using the slider here in the preview window. And remember that you won't see just one of these in the game. All NPCs, as well as your character, will get this body shape. But every NPC will have their own weight setting. So some will have the size 0 shape, and some will have the size 1 shape, and some will have a shape in between the two. The shape options that say outfit have some slight modifications to make them appear as if there are support garments to hold things in place. 
For example, the bust is lifted slightly and the nipple and genital areas have some vertices zapped out so that nothing pokes through the cloth. If you are building a body with underwear, it is sensible to choose an outfit preset, whereas a nude body will look more natural if you choose the regular version. Before we build, there is one last consideration. If you use race menu morphs in the game, then you will want to also tick the box here for build morphs. If you don't know what that is or you don't use it, then you can skip that part. In my opinion, for what it's worth, there's no point in creating these morph files if you don't actually need them. All right, after picking your body version and picking the shape you want it to have, you are ready to build. You can use the big build button here in the middle, but I don't recommend it. As per my cautions and safeguards video, I suggest you always use control plus batch build. This brings up several successive windows where we can make important choices about what we are making and where it will go. First, you'll get the list of NIFs contained within the group that you selected up here in the filter. For the CBBE bodies group, you can see that we have all the different body versions, hands, feet, first person meshes, and some beast meshes. For our example, make sure you have just one body version ticked and make sure to also tick the hands and feet if they are available. It's good to go ahead and build all the matching body parts together. This will help ensure you don't end up with seams at the wrists or ankles. If there are options for first person meshes, go ahead and tick those too. Try to make sure that you only tick one option for each NIF. If you do end up ticking multiple options, or if you did not tick the little box down here by the gold text, then you're going to get a second window listing the duplicates after you select what folder you want to build them to. This is fine. If that happens, just tick the version that you want, untick the other versions, and move on. If you held down control as I recommended, then you'll get a window where you can choose where to build your new body NIFs. I have a custom output folder that I've created for the CBBE body, so that's what I'm going to choose as my build location. You can choose an existing folder, or you can make a new one right here if you wish. Please see my video on custom output folders if you'd like to know more about building to a designated location. Click on the folder you want, and then hit Select Folder, and you should get a message saying the NIFs are processing and or were successfully built. Click OK for each pop-up that you get, and it's all done. Please note that you may get an error message for some of the body parts. I don't know why this happens, and I don't know how to prevent it. But you can get around this by either doing Control plus Batch Build again, and this time select only the parts that did not build successfully, or you can just build all the same parts again, and it should work okay the second time. I have, on occasion, had to build three times to get all the pieces to work, but generally speaking, twice should do the trick. Note that I've never had this happen with outfits, just with hands or feet, so who knows what's going on. All right, once that's done, navigate to the output folder that you chose during the building process and make sure all the parts are there. You should see underscore zero and underscore one versions of everything you selected. If you built to a location outside your mod manager, move these to an appropriate folder within your mod manager and make sure it is activated or enabled and then either refresh MO2 or redeploy Vortex. Then head into the game, strip down to your birthday suit and check that your new body is being used. I suggest opening race menu and testing with the weight slider to also make sure it's using the size zero or lowest weight and size one, the highest weight shapes that match what you chose in body slide. If you put on an outfit, you may notice that your body shape changes and now it doesn't match what you made in body slide. This is normal. Recall what I said earlier, the body NIFs are separate from all the outfit NIFs and you have to build them all to the same shape if you want consistency. 
Also note that unless you use Obody or some other mod that distributes different body presets, all characters in the game that are the same sex as what you build in Body Slide will use the same body NIF. So they will all use the same size 0 and size 1 NIFs, although they will not appear identical since they all have different weight slider settings. The only exception to this is if your character uses a unique race and you have only built the body for that specific race. If you want all the NPCs to be exactly identical, then you can build identical size 0 and size 1 NIFs. Just choose which shape you like best, either the low weight or the high weight, and then click this little arrow at the bottom of the slider set for that weight. It will apply the same shape to the other size so that when you build, now both the size 0 and size 1 files will have the same shape. If you are using a mod that says to build with zeroed sliders, such as Obody, then you do that by choosing the zeroed sliders option here in the preset drop-down list. This will build both the underscore 0 and underscore 1 files to the standard body slide reference shape and then the mod will apply your installed presets to morph and distribute all the various body shapes to NPCs in the game. I don't currently use Obody, although it looks pretty cool, so I can't yet tell you much more than that. As a last little tidbit of potential interest, mod added followers will typically not use the standard Skyrim body files, and so they will probably not have the same body shape that you've just put into the game. If you want to give them the same shape, or another shape that you built in Body Slide, then it should be as simple as replacing their specific body NIFs with your new ones. For example, you can build a particular body preset to your desktop, and then move the underscore zero and underscore one files for the body, hands, and feet into a new mod folder using exactly the same folder structure as the follower mod. Add this new mod folder to your mod manager. Make sure it loads after any other mods that affect the follower's body NIFs. And you should see the new shape when your follower takes off their clothes. If you aren't sure how to make a replacer mod, have a look at video number 24 of my Outfit Studio series. Remember though that replacing the body files won't change the follower's shape when they are wearing an outfit unless you actually build the outfit to that new shape as well. Please also note that some followers have specific instructions for how to give them a new body shape, so always refer to your follower mod first and foremost to see if there is guidance on how it should be done. And that's it! Congratulations on building your first new body shape, if this was indeed your first foray into the wonderful world of Body Slide. We will do many more builds together, so stay tuned if you'd like to see something particular, such as different body types, custom presets, physics-enabled bodies, and so on. As always, feel free to play around and experiment. Refer back to any previous videos in this series as needed, especially the one about how to have a safe body slide experience. In our next video, we will build an outfit to match our new body. Until then, Happy outfitting!